Hey guys, the Bearded Gamer here, back with another video. Hope you guys have already subscribed to my channel. And if you haven't, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And do press the bell icon if you want to stay posted on my latest videos. So today, I'm going to upgrade my 2017 MacBook Air from 128GB to 1TB. The first product that we received is the SSD itself. This is an M2 NVMe SSD from Crucial and let's unbox it. So in the packaging, we get a bill. Let's keep that aside for now. And the SSD. There's nothing else to be found in the packet. So as you guys can see, this is the Crucial P1 NVMe M2 solid state drive. The price mentioned at the back of the box is 13,600, but I got it from Amazon at rupees 10,500. I'll be adding the link to the product in the description below. Do check it out if you are interested so as i earlier mentioned this is the 1000 gb nvme m2 solid state drive now let's open the box as you can see i forgot to get my knife so i'm struggling a bit Well now, it's open. Let's check out what we get inside the box. So inside the box is a plastic packaging with the SSD and a paperwork. So let's open it up. So this is the paperwork which looks like an instruction manual in multiple languages. Let's keep that aside for now. So the product that I was waiting for, the SSD, pretty lightweight wasn't expecting it to be so small so this is the m2 2280 which is the size of the ssd this is so small it's just as big as my finger all right so let's keep it aside for now and move on to our next accessory that we need for the upgrade process so this one is the adapter that will convert the m2 nvme ssd that we have into a proprietary apple ssd and let's open the package and see what we get inside the package This looks like some decent packing but I'm not really sure how my SSD is going to fit into this. Alright, there's the adapter and I can see a screwdriver as well. Most probably it will be the Tox T5 that we need to unscrew the screw on the motherboard connecting the SSD. So as you guys can see, this is the M key M2 PCIe to 12 plus 16P, which is the Apple proprietary SSD. So this is an adapter card for the same. And the size mentioned is 2280, which is 22mm into 80mm, which was the size of the M2 SSD from Crucial that we earlier saw. All right, 
let's open this up so there it is the adapter let's just the focus so as you guys can see it's mentioned over here it is for macbook from 2013 to 2017 and as i had mentioned earlier my macbook air is a 2017 version i also have the link to this product in the description below if anyone is interested in the macbook air or a macbook upgrade which supports this adapter do go ahead and check it out okay let's put this aside so the next item in the packet was a screw driver i'm not really sure if my camera is going to focus on this so yeah so this is the t5 screw driver as i had mentioned earlier all right now let's try to fit our ssd into the adapter as you guys can see this is the m2 slot and we are putting our m2 nvme ssd in here and that's it it's as simple as that so before moving on to the upgrade process let's check out what the read and write speeds are on the proprietary ssd of my macbook so as you guys can see i'm using this black magic disk speed test and the write speeds are somewhere around 650 mbps and the read speeds are somewhere around a thousand megabyte per second all right now let's close this and move on to the actual physical upgrade for this we'll place my macbook on a desk we need a stable surface now let's turn this around and check out what we need to do next so there are 10 pentalobe screws that are holding this back panel together. To unscrew this, you will be needing a pentalobe P5 screwdriver. I have added a link to the toolkit that you can purchase from Amazon. You can go ahead and check it out as well. So this is the screwdriver that I am using, the P5 screwdriver. So let's go ahead and unscrew the back panel. All right, so we'll start off with this one in the front. I'm fast forwarding this section so that we can save some time over here and you guys don't get bored. So coming to the bottom part of the MacBook Air, these two screws are the long screws. So make sure you keep them separately in order to avoid confusion. So once you're done with removing all the screws, now what you can do is turn the laptop around so that the air vent is facing away from you. Once that is done, you can put your fingers below the panel and pull it towards you like I'm doing in this video. It's as simple as that. All right. So we've exposed the internals now. Now we can go ahead and replace the MacBook SSD with the 1TB SSD along with the adapter. So to remove this SSD from the motherboard, we need to unscrew this Tox T5 screw. So I'm using a Tox T5 screwdriver. All right, so this is out. Now what you need to do is pull the SSD slightly up and then pull it outwards like I'm doing over here. Once that is done, it's out. Simple, right? 
so as you guys can see this is a samsung ssd used by apple quite ironical right so let's keep this aside and get r1 tb crucial ssd and plug it in so there it is the 1 tb crucial p1 ssd as we had earlier removed the proprietary ssd similar to that you just have to push it in and lock it in place the last thing that you need to do is put back the screw and you're done tighten it just a bit you'll know when it is enough now let's put the back panel back using the 10 screws that we had earlier removed as you can see I'm putting in the two long screws first and then moving on to the rest of the screws I'll fast forward this process so we can move on to the next step all right so this is done let's turn it around and move on to the next step you will need a bootable USB stick with Mac OS Catalina or any other version that you have been using pre-installed on it to do that you will have to follow a process which I have given a link to in the description so now let's start up this system using the power button and immediately clicking on the option key go ahead and click on the arrow key below it now the system will go into system recovery which will give you access to the disk utility Alright, we are now booted into macOS recovery. You can go ahead and click on disk utility and click continue. So here you can see the SSD over here. Click on it and you will see it shows 1 TB and at type it shows solid state. Go ahead and click on erase. We'll select the format as APFS encrypted as this was the format on my previous Macintosh HD. I'll just put in my password and go ahead and verify it. Once this is done, I'm naming this drive as Macintosh SSD as this is an SSD and not a hard drive and click it is this will take a few seconds and the disk will be formatted once the formatting process is done click on done go back to the utility and to go back click on this close button now if you want to do a fresh install go ahead and click on install mac os if not and if you want to restore from a time machine backup you have the option of restoring from a time machine backup as well since i am doing a time machine backup restore so i'll be clicking on restore from time machine backup click continue again click continue it will search for time machine backups i have my hard drive plugged in so i can select time machine this shows the date click continue click where you want the restoration to be done which is macintosh smg click restore and again click erase disk 
click OK. So now it will start restoring my old data to this new SSD. It is going to take some time based on the amount of data you have. So you can be patient with it. I'll go ahead and fast forward it. So you don't have to go through the entire restoration process. All right, so now the restoration is about to finish and the system will restart. Once the system re restarts, you can go ahead and log in into your account. All right, so as it is the first boot, it is going to take some time. Give it about 30 to 40 seconds or maybe a minute too, depending on what system you are on and you'll be logged in. So this is almost done. As you guys can see, my cursor is loading. So it will now go ahead with the setup. It's asking me to sign in with Apple ID. I'll skip that for now. I'll move on to the next step. which is firewall disk encryption. I'll select both and click continue. So now it's setting up my Mac and it will take me straight to my home screen. It'll take a few seconds again because it is refreshing the data. And that's it. I'm at my home screen. I'll adjust the focus a bit so you guys don't have to see so much light. It's currently verifying all the applications like Google Chrome and all other apps that I had on my system. Basically all the third party apps need verification from Apple before they can run. So I'll go ahead and close this window and eject both the USB stick and the time machine external hard drive. Now let's go ahead and check out the preferences of this Mac. We'll click on the Apple logo, go to about this Mac and see what the new updates are. So as you guys can see, this is running Mac OS Catalina version 10.15.6 and this is a 13 inch 2017 MacBook Air. All right, let's check the storage. So as you guys can see, the new storage is one TB and there's 930 GB free. And at the bottom you can see it's a 1TB solid state PCI Express drive. Alright, so now let's check out the speed of this new SSD. I'm again opening the Blackmagic disk speed test. Let's start it. So as you guys can see, the write speed right now is upwards of 1300 Mbps and the read speeds are upwards of 1400 Mbps. That's a massive speed upgrade. Even though I wasn't looking for a speed upgrade, just the storage upgrade, this is an added benefit. Alright, that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you want any product that I have used, you can check it out in the description below. And make sure you follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have links for the same in the description as well. Thanks for watching. Do like and share this video and subscribe to my channel.